I'm still worried. I have Prophet Andres now here. I'm using him on the issue of uh, Zoom one-on-one. -on -one. See people. People want to see me. I said they must see him. Uh, he come here. He see people on Sunday here. On Saturday, I, those people, I see them on Sunday also. I'm very much concerned of South African people. I'm very, I'm, I'm just concerned of South African people who cannot go and meet a prophet. I'm just concerned. Why you people here, when God raised people, you just look at them like this. You are waiting for the prophecy in the church here. When somebody says, okay, who is Cedric? So, ah, oh, it's my cousin. Okay, you and Cedric, bah, do you think it's over? You people here, you are, you, are, you are making a great mistake. Because the moment when you sit with a prophet like this, you have got a chance also to ask questions. I don't know if you hear me. You have got a chance now to say, man of God, there's something like this. He will tell you this. I'm telling you, when you're a man of God, man of God like us here, if I say this thing, don't do it. Don't do it. If you are here in Charis, you hear me say, please, don't do this thing. I'm telling you, if you do it, you regret maybe after five years why you have done that. I don't know if you're hearing me. Eh? You people, you're in a church where God speaks. Right now, okay, I'm sending Prophet Andres to Cape Town. There's no prophet in Cape Town. There's no prophet. I'm the one who can tell you that. There's no prophet in Cape Town. And this is the time that people in Cape Town, they are supposed to go and say, let me see this prophet. Let me see this prophet. I, I wish you can talk about what you show people on Facebook what I'm saying. There's no prophet in Cape Town. There's no prophet. And there has never been a prophet in Cape Town. Right now, I'm sending a prophet there. Someone said, uh, Sini le tu tina, siabona, siabona mfundin, siabona. There's no prophet. And to see, now let's do this, let's send this prophet there. You think we are, what is that? We are not just doing these things. You are sitting here, you are guarded. There's power of God around you. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm trying to say. Yes. How can you people not having time? What about your life? There have to be a time where you say, I want to have just a weekend in the church. You knock off, you drive your car, you come here, you say, no, I want to meet the man of God. You pray. There will be no day where you say, let's find out about that person. Or we send someone and say, oh, we are people. And you find we are talking about I don't know if you are hearing me. There will be no time whereby we are talking about your life and your victory. If a person like me or Mama, oh, my son, when he said, don't do this, don't do it. If you can say I saw this and this and God has given us this. Jesus has given us these things. If I can say you will die, you will die. 
It's not an issue that we are getting this from somewhere. These things belong to Jesus Yesu Christ. Wafuna, Jesus loves you. Abatu. Some other time he raises other people. If we don't listen to servants of God, whom are we going to listen to? I, I will be told things that I have to pray for somebody and not say anything. And I will make sure that I don't speak anything. I don't know if you are understanding. You have servants of God here. Why don't you listen? He was supposed to be coming and saying, I wanted to do this and this and this. He would say, don't do this to that. You will prosper. Don't see somebody doing business and you start your own. God sometimes sometimes a God told me I must keep quiet because these people are not listening. I will say you go and marry this one. You this one is your husband. I, I don't want the pastor to choose a wife for me. I'm not, I'm not choosing anybody. See what is happening in the one that you chose for yourself. Sometimes when, when, at, when the person you have chosen is just, just looking at you with the open eyes, the whole night the person is looking at you. You chose the person. The person is yours. And the woman. You do, really don't listen. I told them, don't worry about the church in Pretoria. It will be a little bit tough when you are there. But go forward when you are right there. Didn't I tell you? Not so long, something is going to start happening. When you are right there, something is going to happen. They'll be looking at Pretoria. We had people in Pretoria. And these people are going now. God is saying they must go away. There are people when you are having them. There is no way they are taking you. There will be a time when God will bring people. Amen. God will raise you when you are there. Amen. I told you. Huh? Yes, you did. I told them. You will see not long things are going to happen. Amen. Amen. There is a wind that is coming. Let me pray for you so that you accept this. 